Okay, if you're unfamiliar with vectors are, vectors are the mathematically driven lines that are perfect no matter how far you zoom in on them. We're going to be understanding the pen tool at first. So the pen tool, if I click, 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 you can see this green line appear. What this green line is going to state where things are. Like for instance, it's appearing now because it knows the halfway in between mark from here to there. So it's very smart that way. It will detect exactly how to draw a very straight line going all the way around. Okay, if I look at this line, it's made up of a stroke. All strokes can be handled in here. So if I want a stroke that looks a little thicker, I can go to six point, nine point, thirty point. Where two point or where the corner meets, this is an anchor point, and what happens is there's two handles that appear on both sides, leading us into discussions on the black arrow compared to the white arrow. The black arrow will actually just grab the whole shape that I just draw, drew. The white arrow will highlight individual points. So by double clicking on these points, I can now manipulate that point in some nature and I can get other shapes out of it. Where these meet is where your miter is. Okay. So let's say for instance in the stroke palette I show you a couple more things. Like in here, for instance, this stroke is now in the middle of this box. Okay, this line right here is in dead center. If I want it on the inside, I could choose it like this. And if I want it on the outside of that, white, that blue line, I can choose that. That's very important when it comes down to print and it's going outside your bounds. Take, for instance, if I had it here up in my corner, And if it was in this fashion, and if I had it up in the corner, it would go outside my margins. But if I had it here, it wouldn't be in outside my margins. Okay. So that's a very quick way to think about it. Let's go back to the default. Let's play around with these buttons, the miter buttons. Okay, if I go like this, it rounds out the outside. If I go like this, it takes and bevels out the outside and this one will make it absolutely razor sharp. Also, this is my miter limit. So if I up my miter limit while this is on, you notice there is no miter limit. Here, same. Miter limit only occurs when there is a straight point to point ratio. And then I can go in here and tweak it down and achieve just about all the things that I had in the other two, except for the roundness. We're going to be changing our miter limit a lot. This is my round cap and my protecting cap. These go for individual lines only. So if I go in here and make one dashed line, like that, and see how this is straightened out, if I want a round cap, I can go like that. And if I want a square cap, I can go like that. Okay. So the protecting cap goes over the top of it. So, so many different possibilities. Also, dash lines can appear here. And the ability to state my dashes are going to be 12 gaps. How big are they going to be? Maybe three points, three PTs. Yep. It'll tighten it up. So that's just a taste of shapes. Now what we're going to look at is the pen tool and uh, some other tricks along the way in the next video.